EverWeb's maximum width options allow you to limit how far objects are to be spread out across a page. The option can be found in a number of different areas within EverWeb. In this example, I am going to use it in the responsive row widget, where it is known as Content Maximum Width. I am going to refine the look of the page so it looks perfect on whichever hardware it is viewed upon. As you may already know, the responsive row widget is used when you have fixed width objects, such as the PayPal widget, that you want to include in a responsive page. I'm going to use the horizontal alignment option of the responsive row widget as it demonstrates how useful content maximum width can be. In my example, I'm going to use the justify center option. Start by adding a responsive row widget to the page. Next, drag and drop a text section widget into the responsive row widget. When dropping the text section widget into the responsive row widget, the responsive row widget border should become blue, indicating that the text section widget is being embedded into the responsive row widget. Style the text section widget with an image and some text. When adding the image, set the width value to 180 pixels wide and set the height to auto so that the image retains its proportions. Set the width value of the widget itself in the metrics inspector to 200 pixels wide. Add two more text section widgets into the responsive row widget and style in the same way as the first text section widget. When drag and dropping the additional widgets into the responsive row widget, a blue vertical bar displays to help you more easily position the widgets. Next, select the responsive row widget by clicking in an empty area of the widget. Click on the widget settings button if they are not already displayed in the inspector window. Add some space between the text section widgets by setting the insert margin value at 30. Set the horizontal width value in the alignment section to justify center. Now that the responsive row has been set up, preview the page. As I increase the width of the browser window, the space between each text section widget gets larger. This will create a lot of white space between the text section widgets, which does not look good on a laptop or desktop. The text section widgets also appear ungrouped. To resolve this problem, we need to set a value for content maximum width in the responsive row widget. The default value is set at zero, which means the whole width of the responsive row widget. Change this value to 800 and preview again. This time, notice that the three text section widgets remain grouped together. As you increase the browser width, the space between each widget does increase, but only by a small amount. You may want to experiment with setting the content maximum width value at, for example, 1000 or 1200 pixels to see what effect it has. The value that you use for content maximum width will depend on the width of the objects within the responsive row widget plus the insert margin value between each of the objects and any left and right margins that you have set in the metrics inspector. In this example, we have 200 plus 30, plus 200 plus 30, plus 200 plus 30, equaling 690 pixels. If you set the value of content maximum width at 691, all the widgets display in a row. At a value of 690, you will have two widgets on top and one below. A value of 800 to 1000 pixels, therefore, gives a nice spacing at all times.